That's right, but the federal government is united in its spending. That's right. See, Maria, that's what we need to shirt. We need to say united in spending of America because that's what we are. We are all united in the fact that they're going to spend all this money. And so we just got to kind of like figure it out, right? I mean, I, you know, good stuff. I mean, I picked up literally, four, I signed four contracts today, four. And if, for all my people that were in the group last night, they knew I was stressing on two of my contracts uh, because we were we didn't have the bonding. So like, woof, we were able to, because they were negotiated jobs, uh, we were able to talk with the government and uh, have them push out the actual dates from when uh, we had to actually deliver the bond. So we were able to sign the contract awards and then the government pushed out the, the bond date for us to allow us to actually accept the contract. So again, when you have relationships with these agencies, they can do all kinds of things, make exceptions for you, change the rules. Um, because again, we, you know, it's, they, they, they have that ability, but when you're just bidding blindly and you don't know the people, then it makes it really tough for you to ask for uh, an exception to the rule. So um, again, you know, I'm telling people out there is, is that build those relationships, nurture them, develop them, um, because they're going to pay off dividends in the long term. I know it seems easier to go on bid match, bid surge, bid sing, and just bid, bid, bid. But I'm telling you, those relationships, if it wasn't for those relationships, I would not have, I would have lost $1.2 million in contracts today if it was not for relationships. I can promise you that. It was literally $1.2 million in contracts that we signed today that they wanted to give us, but we did not have our bonding. And because we didn't have bonding, that's a criteria of getting the contract. And we told them that um, we, we couldn't do it. So um, we were able to basically, uh, ultimately what we did was we uh, said that because of the winter conditions, we were gonna start the projects after winter, which would be you know next year. And then could they then make the bonding due uh, prior to us actually getting ready to, to mobilize and start the contract, as opposed to like normal standards, it's due um, right after you sign the actual agreement. So we were able to push back the, the bond dates, right, in terms of when they were due, in order to um, be able to fulfill the uh, contracts. And because again, the government's trying to obligate funds today. This is the last day to obligate funds. So we worked it out and, <laughs> and yeah, free throw Frankie doesn't seem real. Um, but it is. And so what I want to say is, again, the, the, they can do a lot of things out here. Like they can do a lot of stuff. Um, let me go check in. My man's dialing in right now. Let's just talk to him real quick. What's up, Barber World? What's up, man? How you doing? Hey, what's going on, baby? How you doing? Um, yeah, I was asking the question, trying to see how exactly do we – because I, I watched a video – and the woman was talking about how she got started in government contracting. And what happened was for her to actually bid on those contracts, right. she was getting an advance to buy the materials up front. I don't, the only time that I've seen them do that are really, really small items. Really small items? Yeah. It's far few in between that they do that on big stuff. You have okay. to actually produce it in order to be able to get paid, right? Yeah. So, but it's okay because, you know, what we teach is building your supplier credit. So you don't need them to give you an advance. What's the item that you're considering? Uh, right now, I'm looking at a bid right now on beta.sam. What's the item? It's Lighting fixtures. Okay, lighting fixtures. Okay, so let me give you an example. We have a student that just won a contract this year. I mean, this month, I'm sorry, that she bought a snowplow machine that was $130,000. Like wow. Okay, she doesn't have a 700 score. She don't, I don't even know if she got a 600 score. <laughs> I didn't want to press her. I know she didn't have eight and she didn't have seven. She just told me to shut up after that. But... <laughs> Because it's like, you pick it on me now. But nevertheless, she went to the supplier and asked for credit to buy the item because it was going to the government. Okay. So what you do is you go to the supplier who has the item to see if they will give extend you credit. What's the process of applying for credit, right, with that particular company, that account? 
or it's becoming a distributor for that particular company so that you can get a credit account set up. Okay. And then that's going to help you in the long run anyways, because I'm going to tell you why. A couple of things it's going to help you with is because one, you should get better pricing as a distributor. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So now you can be more competitive. And then the other thing is now you're actually building a business because you're building a relationship with the supply company, right? So even if you don't get that bid, that may could be your new industry. And what if it's something is something that's like a one-off thing and you don't you won't even use that company very often? I was still I but the thing is so what happens if it's if it's a, so let's say I don't think this girl's gonna get into selling snowplows very often. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, a one-off yeah. thing, right? Like, I mean, I live in Florida. We don't need snow plows. Yeah, I don't I mean, even know what it looks like. I'm in Florida too. I'm in Orlando, so you know. So there you go. So like, I don't, so to me, I don't think anyone buys snow plows all the time. So that's like a one-off thing. But what she said was, because again, going back to the government contract tip or angle, because it was for a government contract, they knew she wasn't buying a snow plow to like just a you know, stunt so. on a snow plow. <laughs> <laughs> you get me? Like, that's kind of what I try to explain to people is like, you guys don't understand. Supplier credit is not like a credit card. You yeah. can't go and waste it. What, you going to buy three snow plows, put it in a front yard? Like, they just, you can't waste. So they understand that the only reason why you'd want a snow plow is to sell it to the government. Well, the government, so they're basing off the government's credit. Yeah. Government. So you get me? So it's a lot easier than you think to get credit set up with these people. In fact, Johnny Chat just said to me he got his IT credit line set up recently. He thanked me for that. So, again, it's a lot easier than you believe. Most of us just don't try. And I'm sure if you're on my IG, you've seen some of that in my feed, right? Like, yeah. you didn't even try. You already discounted. You don't. Whoever told you about getting advanced, I promise you that person. What do you think? What do you think? They're not. They're small. not. They're not. I would not. I would say they're not credible. What do you think is small, though? Because she was saying that it was a. She was saying it was a small contract and it was like a hundred and something grand or something like that. It's not true. It's not yeah. true. Okay. It's not true. That's it's not sure. true. I'm telling you it's not true. Okay. I'll just, I'll just make it sure. I'll just ask because I've seen Listen, it. Listen, I don't believe her. I don't believe her. I don't know who she is and I don't believe her. <laughs> I don't. I would want her to show me the advance like she check. She got the huh? contract gave her a $75,000 check to buy the material. She's like, she's like, they're handing you a check. Like, I'm like, like, that sounds kind of kind of crazy, you know what I'm saying? The government, so you're telling me the government's just handing people checks to buy stuff with no repercussion, like just here, get a check, buy it, and show up with it? Yeah. I don't refer, you gotta I don't, be careful. There's uh, a lot of charlatans out there. There's a lot of charlatans. There's a lot of people out there, especially if they're on IG. <laughs> 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 like, there's a lot, of, you know, I mean, there's a lot of people say stuff. And, and I will say this. The, when it came time for PPE, they did make those mistakes, but they don't do them anymore. Gotcha. And they learned from that. In fact, I interviewed someone where governments literally lost tens of millions of dollars uh, giving out checks to people in advance for PPE. But that was a pandemic. That's a once in a lifetime, you know, type of issue. But yeah. for someone to, and by the look, why would you, let's say that it did happen to her. All right, so maybe I don't do a good job enough of promoting, but people are asking me, do you have a course? I want a structured curriculum. I like what you're doing. I like the IG. I like the YouTube. Visit us over at govconedu.com to find out all of our offerings. For one low price, you can get more than a dozen courses that we teach, from proposal writing to subcontracting, uh, prime, becoming a prime contract, becoming a subcontract, becoming a consultant. If you want to do IT or staffing or janitorial, we talk about all these things inside of our platform over at govconedu.com. That's G-O-V-C-O-N-E-D-U.com.